And really that's it. So those are the five steps that you need in order to have a successful meeting. Good introduction to people in your group, good introduction of the bill, co-sponsors who introduced it, the HR number, the SB number, a compelling story, facts of the bill, and then the ask. Are you gonna support this bill, yes or no? And then after that, there can be a dialogue, there can be Q&A, there can be a back and forth after that, but make sure you have asked that. As you're doing these builds, as you're having these meetings, don't leave the meeting until you have one thing. Who is your follow-up person? So let's say the person that, yes, I'm gonna vote for it, I'm gonna support it, be like, okay, great, who is our follow-up contact? Is it one of your staff members? Get the name of somebody in their office that you can call one or two or three weeks later and just make sure that what the person said actually got done. Make sure that they promise you something that they actually went through and did it. Or if they say they're gonna vote no on something, make sure to follow up with them and make sure that that also happens. Get the name of the follow-up person and who is going to do that. With that in your group, make sure you have one person who's responsible to be your group's point of contact. Meaning that don't fall into a trap that's like, okay, all of us will follow up, because all of you are not gonna follow up. Have one person, is their duty and their responsibility to follow up with their office. Did they pass the bill? Did they go against the bill? Whatever else happened. And then it's their job to then update all of you. Make sure to take notes. So after you've done your presentation and you made the ask, Make sure to take notes, what is the elected official or their staff member saying? I would support the bill, but I'm worried about uh, funding, or I'm worried about increased in taxes, or I'm worried about this or that. Whatever they say, write it down, take notes, because maybe we can address those issues with that elected official, or if that official has those issues, then probably other officials have those issues as well. So again, if they don't support your bill, it's not the end of the world, it's okay, but make sure to take down the notes of why they support it or why they don't support it, so that way we as a community can learn from it and then utilize that to have better means with the same official or with other officials, inshallah.